All right, guys. So for Terry's traffic camera, um, <clears throat> you're gonna create a, a stoplight. Um, you should have the print off right now at your desk. But you're gonna create a stoplight that you can override if, for example, an emergency vehicle is coming through. And really, the only part I'm gonna look at today is the programmer's job. But I am gonna help you later on in class. Just create a simple stoplight that we can test your program on okay so once again you should read over this pause the video right now read over this read over the computer engineers job and I'm gonna kinda guide you through how I want you to program some of the stuff now a key part of this is um, how you define your variables so just for the record here I'm gonna go on to my uh, Rex robot C I'm gonna bring it up gonna cancel my uh, upgrade I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna go file new and I'm gonna go to sensor motor and sensor okay and um, when I uh, talk about this in class I talk about how it might a um, how might a person go about understanding what's going on here so let's just go over some things real quick so there should be a traffic okay you'll have a, a traffic intersection right here this is my really rough drawing right now of a traffic intersection okay and so I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna come over here and right here and you're gonna have a light right in the middle right that's gonna conduct this now say an ambulance is coming this way okay at that point I want everything to go red so the ambulance can go safely through the intersection okay or vice versa this way at all other times I'm just gonna have it running a timer okay so I'll have a second step here a timer here a timer here a timer here let's define this way as west okay and we'll define this way as north Okay, that, that'll make sense when we define our variables. All right, so as long as you keep that image to yourself right here, you should be able to understand why we're defining the variables the way we're doing, okay? So we're going to go over here, and we're going to, I'll keep those. Um, we're going to go back to our, our motor sensor setup, and we're going to have actually no motors in this entire code, which is kind of, um, it's going to be kind of interesting. And we're going to go only to the uh, the digital sensors. And because each side of that stoplight is going to need a, an LED, we're going to need six LEDs. Six. Six LEDs. And I'm going to call them green. Actually, I'll call it green, north, yellow, north, and red north okay remember the stoplight is on top the red part is on top of the stoplight everywhere besides tip hill um, and then we're gonna go right down here we're gonna go west now we're gonna go green west yellow oops spelled yellow around there west and, oh oh got a little excited there push enter and red west Okay. And the last sense we're going to use our, our override switch for if an emergency vehicle is coming through, like outlined in the problem. Okay, and that emergency vehicle, we'll call that. Um, we're going to call it something cool, like override. Override. Sounds cool, doesn't it? It's cooler than Miss Lambert's class, that's for sure. Okay, so we're going to go back over here. And you're simply going to do a while loop because we want this to run forever, right? We want it to run. You know, you can't have a no stoplight, otherwise you're going to use a four-way intersection. And if I'm doing that, I'm going to set that my rest of my code inside a bracket. Remember, if I open a bracket, I have to close a bracket, okay? I have an open bracket for task main, I close that bracket for task main. I have an open bracket for a while loop, I have to close that while loop. <coughs> Alright, now we're going to say if 
And then we're gonna say sensor value. So if, and then inside those condition, a sensor value. So I'm gonna go over to my natural language here. I'm gonna go, uh, not special. I'll do special in a second here. Sensor. Why did I do that? Sensors. Variables. Sensor value. Is sensor value. Is sensor value. And we're going to call it override. Override is definitely spelled wrong. Notice you can edit things right up here. Okay, and you can edit them right here too. Override. Uh, equals equals one and we're gonna have we equals equals zero okay we might have to invert that I'm not sure we can open that bracket and we're gonna close that bracket so if it's not on if that sensor value is not on once again I have three open brackets I have three closed brackets you're gonna get many X's red X's if that doesn't happen all right I'm gonna run my simple start or uh, my simple regular timer which is under special you go turn LED on and we're going to start off with green LED oh. okay and we're going to do a wait You're gonna have to wait a certain amount of time, two seconds, and then uh, that's kind of short light. Let's do let's do uh, five seconds, okay? And then you're gonna turn LED off, green, north, and you're gonna turn on. yellow north I know I'm spelling some things wrong here so let's go up here and just compile the program real quick to figure out what's going on and I'll save it as stoplight okay so let's go down here and see the sensor value so sensor value for some reason it wants to say that this sensor value needs to be capitalized it says that yellow north and green north is completely spelled wrong. So if I just go, see how it says it right here? Undefined variable green north. I'm missing, I'm missing an N there. So watch. I push that N in there. And yellow north, that north needs to be capitalized. That's all it's saying. It's saying, oh, this works. It's similar. I'm assuming it's this. But this is what you really wrote. You might want to fix it. So if I compile the program now, all fixed. Okay? So it's very important to read your, error, your compiler errors. Okay? So I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to wait, uh, do a wait of one second, <clears throat> you know, because yellow light doesn't be on for long and then I'm going to turn off and turn on. I'm going to copy this, control C, control V, and I'm going to do turn off yellow. I'm going to turn on red north. Okay. And here I'm actually going to turn this on. I'm going to say turn. And if you put something turn on multiple times, nope, it's not, I want this. If you put something on multiple times, it's just going to stay on. It doesn't matter. Red West. So now what's happening is Red West is going on. Uh, green North is going on. It's waiting five seconds. And then that. And then I'm going to put a wait here because you should have a little time for cars to clear out. You don't want to immediately do it. I'm going to wait for 0.5 seconds. And then I'm going to copy this
control C and then go down here and go control V so after that wait of 0.5 seconds I'm gonna turn red north on again I'm gonna turn green west on so all you're doing is changing the second word here west 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 that should work Alright, now we need to do our else loop. Now, the one thing about this is I got it open, open. This is holding my while loop. This is holding my else loop. So I'm act or if loop. So I'm actually going to delete, 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 and then push an enter after this. Okay, and now start typing my else statement. Alright, now there's no condition. It's just picking everything else up, but I still need to, to hold it inside a bracket. So I always create my brackets first. So now I have the same amount of brackets. And else, okay, that'd be sensor value is not equal to that. Okay, so the sensor value is actually being pushed. We're gonna say turn on LED. So we're gonna do a turn on. So we're gonna I'll do I'll go back up to your natural language. It's under special once again. And it's turn LED on. And I'm gonna turn LED on. Turn LED on and I'm gonna say red north and I'm gonna say red west now I'm also gonna do this because if that happened at any time I'm gonna to want to make sure all the other ones are off so I'm doing this just to ensure this doesn't necessarily need to happen but it can happen so uh, greens, the green thing be off. Green north. Green west. And yellows. Because it would be kind of weird if you had a yellow or a green and a red light. You might confuse some people and cause some issues in the morning commute. So that, and then I'm gonna put, just gonna put in a wait timer here, cause I, I don't wanna have to sit there and hold it. I'm gonna put in a wait timer for three seconds. So I'm gonna wait three seconds. Now, if I need to wait longer, it will. But this is just hold it up. So that's just gonna hold everything up. All right, and now it's gonna go back after that runs through that. It'll go back up to this if statement and check to make sure that sensor value is what it is. All right, that's all you need. All right. Um, when dealing with logic, it's very, very important or helps out a lot to do some pseudocode after it. So explaining to you what you're doing here is a big thing. Okay, I'm not really that great at doing that. All right, so we'll just compile the program one time. No errors. All right, great stuff.